So eBay changed one of the app features that actually has been affecting us as well as a ton of other people. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at an address, a change that eBay just did for the app. The, your phone app that they have out there has been changed. The condition box is a big ordeal now because they've buried it. Now, we'll look at it in just a minute, so I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. But basically, eBay added a condition box, which most people know, where you put in new and used and all that kind of sort of thing, decade or so at least ago, and made it a big priority that you had to fill that and you have to put in new, you have to put in used. If there's anything else wrong with the item, you're supposed to put it in the condition box as well. We've been putting in sizes and dimensions of items for decade plus in that box because eBay made it like the first thing you see when you clicked on a listing or from the phone or anywhere you're browsing from. It used to be the very first thing you see right below the title in the photos. So any issues that you wanted to note were tied there. Well, with the change that they did, it doesn't show that on the phone. It shows everything the same on your uh, laptop or your PC, but on the phone it's totally different. Now eBay has been switching things up on the phone app and supposedly simplifying and doing all sorts of other things, but they're not taking into account that now everything is different. Our sales numbers are actually different from the phone app than they are from the laptop and the PC. You'll have to look into it. They've posted about it. They want to correct the issue. It's been brought up, so they're aware of it. They are working on it. You know, I'll give them credit, at least they announced and admitted that it was going on, which is fine. But the, the change for buyers now, the fact that it doesn't list the specific condition issues anymore without you having to click something is causing issues. I've had at least a half a dozen people reach out and, and get pretty angry that the items weren't properly described by us. And I said, yes, they were. They showed me the screenshots. Hey, look, it's not there. And then I have to inform them, yes, it is. You have to click on the About button. Sure enough, they see it after the fact, but it still doesn't calm them down in, in most cases. I'm out on the hook if they want to return something because of that. And I didn't do anything different. I didn't even know that eBay changed that until people started pointing it out to me personally. I've had a couple of Patreons reach out to me and specifically address this. One of them, who I've talked to many different times, actually got into it with eBay about this because eBay didn't see it was any big ordeal, but it's a huge ordeal when people are expecting something or they look at it, it looks like it's a large size item because you've got a nice image, it's big, large blown up image, but they get it and it's really small and they're disappointed. It's nothing we have specifically done. If eBay would have announced the fact that they were changing this up, it would have alleviated the issue because we could have done something different or made a way to mitigate that box and bring it back down in the description box. Their priorities have changed. Obviously, as I said, it still shows everything where it should be, the condition box, your sizes, everything in that box is still right there below the title and right by the image on a laptop or PC, which is probably 60 to 70% of the people who look at your items are seeing. So if you've used the condition box for anything else going forward, that may not be something you want to do because you may be hurting yourself because of the app issue. Now, I've addressed it the best way I can with, with the customer base and the whole works. I've tried to explain to them that eBay moved it without telling us, without telling them. Most people just assumed right off the bat that we didn't put it in there because they know it used to be in there. So the first assumption, obviously, is, hey, the seller did it. They don't think that eBay is going to yank it out from underneath them and, you know, hide it. I know one button may not seem like a lot, but you already have to hit a button to get into the app. And if they want to make it simpler, key information, like any issue that's with it, should be something prominent, front and center. If you listed a toy and there's a scratch on it or damage to it or, geez, a sports card or, or a Pokemon or anything and there's a, a crease, a dent, a ding, they're not seeing it right off the bat. They have to click something and most people don't click extra buttons. They'll buy it based on the fact that they don't see anything wrong with it. And I've had a lot of people tell me that the amount of complaints and people asking for returns has went horrendously up and it always seems to be turning into 
issues related to the app where they removed certain aspects or moved them, buried them, where people don't know that they are there. So let's just look at one of the items uh, in general on the phone here. This is an active listing here. It's for a button of ours straight from one of my uh, listings. You can see my title and the whole works. Now it used to have the condition box right underneath this where you could instantly see what the condition is. It still shows it online on a laptop, PC, or whatever. N even if you look through here and scan, even under the item description, it doesn't show that information. So even if you click this, it looks like I don't have the information in there. It also looks like the condition isn't broken down. The only condition box that you see is up here and it says condition used and that's it. You have to hit the about this item and then it pops up and shows it right there as you can see. So the only way you're going to see it is if you click on another button, something else pops up. Now eBay didn't tell anybody this. So if there's people out there looking at your items, they don't know that this isn't there anymore because of eBay that you have to click this other button. And what's happening is people are complaining. They're saying that I don't have it in there. They're sending me screenshots showing no condition box, no size. And then I have to counter back with, hey, it's here. eBay moved it. They didn't tell anybody. They're not breaking it down. All the information is still there, but they've now just removed your condition statement. So now if you write use, you know, pick use and then pick some other, you know, specific, say it has a hole, it has a rip. It doesn't say it. They have to click on here and read uh, the details. The button is in excellent condition. That's mine. The button is about 25 millimeters across. Again, eBay added this on, and this used to be a huge factor just real recently within the last, say, month or so where eBay pushed it. You were required literally to add the condition box in there and put some statement in there. Now, obviously, we're changing where we list the information. We're putting it in the description box, which, by the way, you still have to click a button on the phone app to see the description box now as well. So all you see is the basics. You see an image, the title, and the price, basically. If you want to see the description box of it, you have to click something else. Once you're done with that, if you want to see the condition box, you've got to exit out of that and then click another button to see that. And then you've got to exit out of that just to buy or make an offer or whatever else. So I don't know how on earth that's going to be helpful to the buyer. It certainly isn't streamlined and it's certainly not easier than any of the other apps that I use for, for stuff. Like Amazon apps, fine. Even Walmart app is far better and superior the way it works and what it shows you, how it shows you, what you have to click than eBay. Etsy, I'm just frustrated by all the advertisements and items that have no bearing on my search results. eBay's going in that direction too, but this is annoying the fact that now I've got to worry about folks complaining and returning items because they're unaware that eBay changed a major aspect that they relied on before to tell the size, the condition, and the whole work. So move it if, if you can. Obviously, it's going to be a little harder to move it from um, your item. You can actually download all your, your textual and uh, change it in an Excel spreadsheet and then re-upload it. That's about the best, easiest way. Or if you're using a third party, you can change it or at least add in that same information into the description box. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. I have no idea why eBay would have changed it in the first place. It used to be such a priority to put the condition and make sure you describe every little detail of the item and for them to now actually bury it where you're not able to see it without clicking something, in my opinion, is a step backwards. Just like having to click on the description box and the whole works. A lot of the features that you would get on your laptop or PC are not available on the cell phone app either. Other apps such as Amazon, Walmart, they work fine. I use them in the stores. I use them out in the wild. If I'm RAing retail arbitrage, they work great. I can instantly tell a price at Walmart. I can you know, look at Amazon and see if I can sell it. eBay, on the other hand, it's far more difficult to do most of the stuff that I want to do. And I can't rely on a big chunk of the information. If they recommend me selling something at a specific price, it's almost always wrong for us. For an example, the aspect that the phone app sales numbers don't match the laptop PC are very troubling. The fact that some of the uh, issues with searches are different on different web browsers, even if they're up to date, is annoying as well. Same thing with searches from the phone versus searches from a laptop PC. They show different results. 
But anyway, that's about it for today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Kellogg's Corn Pop Cereal. Golden nuggets of corn popped up sweet and light. A popping great part of this nutritious breakfast. I gotta get up, yeah.